Good morning. And my name is Teresa. I'm here to talk about the Canada Fitness Guide. I don't know if you've heard of it. Most of us have. I've heard the government say we need 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous activities, cardiovascular activities a week. That sounds like a lot. But if you break it down, 150 minutes a week means you can do it 30 minutes every other day, you know, every, you know, you can just do it a few times a week, or 10 minute increments, 30 minutes in a day, okay, break it down, 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes after lunch, 10 minutes after dinner, and you've got your 30 minutes just like that. Moderate exercise is usually considered a brisk walk. For those who have balance issues, a brisk walk may not be the ideal thing to do. The idea is to go for a walk and maybe get your heart rate up a little bit, pump your arms a little bit, or if you're using your walker, just walk at a moderate pace or even a slow pace. As long as you're moving, that's the most important part to get started. A vigorous workout would be cross-country skiing, a fast bike ride, a run where you're sweating and, and you're breathing heavier. A moderate walk is you may be breathing a little heavier and you might sweat slightly. And the vigorous, you would, sweat, you would sweat quite a bit and your heart rate would go up quite high. Whatever you do, just remember to move. And if you break it down that 150 minutes, could become 200 minutes. It doesn't take that long when you break it down. The other component of the Canada Fitness Guide is resistance or strength training. And we should be doing those types of exercises twice a week, minimum, three times would be even better. And those could incorporate weights, bands, your own body weight, Whatever you do is in your comfort zone. And use the big muscle parts, of work the big muscles, the chest, the back, the abdomen, the shoulders, and the legs. Biceps, triceps, what wrists come last. So if you run out of time, focus on the bigger muscles, the muscles that will give you better posture, carry you through, keep you upright, and prevent falls by being stronger and you're more able to go about day-to-day -day tasks if you build up your strength. Remember, a four-liter bag of milk weighs between five and eight kilograms, which is fairly heavy if you have to carry it very far. So keep that in mind. So strength training is usually considered one to two sets for 65 and older. You may ask, what is a set? A set is eight repetitions of one particular exercise, or eight to 12, depending where you are. But if you're just starting, perhaps four is all you can do, and that's okay. It's building up. And when you get to where your muscles are feeling, you're using a three pound weight, and you're going, wow, that feels way too easy, and I've done two sets. It's time for a new set of weights. Take it up to four pounds. If you were here at the center, that's what you would do. You would just try four pounds and, and see if your muscles become fatigued by the end of the two sets, then you're doing what you need to do. And the balance exercises are another component that is very important for the 65 plus, but in my opinion, it's important for everyone. Younger people balance easier, but I also know that if they don't practice their balance, it's more easy to fall. With the older demographics, if we fall, we run the risk of injury, breaking those brittle bones if you have osteoporosis. And if we fall and break a bone, if we were independent but we were close to that line that was between being independent and not, a fall could make that difference between living your life independently, going about your day-to-day -day life, and not being able to do that at all, and looking at having to either have assistance come into your home, or 
going into retirement homes. And that's the point of doing all this exercise. It's not to torture yourself, but it's to give you a better quality of life, improve your strength, both cardiovascular and muscular, balance to prevent falls, and in this way, you can stay in your own home for much longer than if you don't look after yourself. So think of that Canada Fitness Guide, and there's a little video, it's called 23 and a half hours. And if you can find it, watch it. It explains this so well, and it motivates you to maybe just do a little bit more than you already are. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Mm -hmm.